What's up guys, welcome back to another flea market finds video. If you guys are enjoying the videos, hit the like button, lets me know, helps the channel grow. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. I appreciate everybody who always leaves the comments. And go ahead and hit that sub button if you guys are not already and you guys do enjoy these videos. It's a early morning. So, let's go see what we can find this week. The zipper is busted on the jacket, but maybe it's cheap. Just kidding, it was hiding. You said seven? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. All right, thank you. So as you guys saw, the very first thing I grabbed was that Reebok suit. What I didn't mention in the video though, is that was my only find that I found on Saturday. That was the only thing I ended up grabbing that whole day. There was just like nothing there. The Reebok Georgia Bulldogs track suit. Georgia spelt out on the left sleeve on that. Reebok size XL. My bad, it's a size large, not XL. But it also came with the pants as well. Well, I, kind of, I just noticed that the pants are an XL and the jacket's a large. So I guess they don't go together. I'm gonna have to fix my eBay listing after this. But still, basically I paid like four bucks a piece, I think it was so it's whatever but sunday is where the fines get good i think i'm gonna take all these <laughs> there's 20 of them so i don't know how much mm -hmm. So 270? Yeah, no more. Uh, do you have more? <laughs> uh, probably. Someone actually came through. I'm surprised. But I got 20 items for two, 270. And I only had 200 cash on me. So I'm going to the ATM now. Definitely a good way to start the morning. Sun's not even out yet all the way. And it's supposed to be really nice. So hopefully that's not the end of what we find today. So the very first thing I ended up finding was that huge lot of clothing again. It came from the same person that I got the shirts from a couple weeks ago, if you guys watched that video. She actually told me that she was gonna have more for me. Um, but like I said in that video, I wasn't gonna hold my breath on it because people always tell you that. And then like 90% of them don't actually bring the stuff. So I was actually really surprised that she actually brought more. So everything I'm about to show you guys, I paid $270 for. Most of it's brand new with tags still. And the stuff that doesn't have the tags, it's brand new. It's just the tags came off. So I'll start off with the tees first. I got a total of 20 items for 270. So what does that come out to? 270 divided by 20. So $13.50 a piece if you want to look at it that way. So the first item is the brand new Auburn Tigers tee right here that is on the TNT tag. The next item is the Golden State Warriors tee on the Logo 7. Oh, my bad, Logo Athletic. That one is brand new with the tags. Little Logo Athletic on the sleeve, single stitched. Then we got the Missouri Tigers. That one's brand new without the tags. That's on the Hanes. Tag fell off on that one, but it does have the little, what do you call this, a little plastic thing. Then we got the Arkansas Razorbacks on the jerseys. That one is brand new with tags. Red Oak Sportswear, size large on that one. Next up, we got the Tennessee Volunteers. Tennessee football team, team apparel tag, and that one is also brand new with tags. Colorado Rockies, again, brand new with tags. That one is on the Logo 7. That one's dated 1995. We got the Kentucky Wildcats on the Haynes tag, single stitch. One of the ones that doesn't have the tags, but I'm pretty sure they just fell off. And then the last tee in the lot is the Florida Gators tee right here. And that one is brand new with tags. Like again, on the jerseys tag, size large. But what she had this time that she didn't have the last time was a bunch of crew necks. So now let me go through those because I have quite a bit of them to go through. First one is the Los Angeles Raiders right here. With the big helmet. That one's on the Haynes tag, size XL. And as you can see, it did have the tag. The tag just got ripped off. We got the Dallas Cowboys on the True Fan. Super Bowl champs, 1995. Super Bowl 30. This one is brand new, but it does have this little mark on it from where you could tell where the sticker was. I've gotten lots of clothes that always has that little silver sticker on it, and when you pull it off, that happens. I guess it just happens over time. This one's probably one of the better ones in the lot, uh, but my friend's actually taking this one. The Dallas Mavericks crew neck right here. The logo athletic. That one is brand new with tags with the old logo. Little logo athletic on the sleeve. This one's tagged as a large, but it's more of like an XL. Like if I wanted to keep this one, I'm pretty sure I could. The next one is another one that a friend of mine has taken. We got the Florida State Seminoles. Florida State spelled out on the front. Still got the little sticker on it. It is brand new. Alt sand tag. It's a size large, but again, this one's like an XL. Now when you got the logos on both shoulders, 
Then we got the Harley Davidson, Harley Davidson tag, size large, and then you just have the embroidery on the front and the orange. This one I definitely would have kept if it was one size bigger, but I cannot fit it to size large. That's the Hank Williams Jr. crew neck right here. The Monday Night Football, are you ready for some football? Again, brand new, just the tag fell off on that America Sports Team tag. Growing up, my grandpa used to always listen to Hank Williams and Hank Williams Jr., so. I've been on a hunt for like any Hank Williams stuff, but I just can't find any. And of course, whenever I found one, it's a little too small. The hunt continues. This one I actually already sold for 80 bucks. I gotta get it shipped out because the dude's already messaged me. Even though he just bought it yesterday, he wants me to ship it out like now. <laughs> anyway, it's the Baylor Bears crew neck. That one's brand new with the tags. Size XL, logo athletic. I actually sold this one for 80 bucks. So that's already like, what, a third of my money back just on this one. Then we got the Russell Athletic SMU Mustangs. Again, this one feels like it's brand new. The Super Bowl 28 Dallas Cowboys on the Toltecs, size XL. And then the only one I'm keeping like for my personal out of this whole stack is this one right here, the Mighty Ducks. That one's on the lead tag, size large, but it fits like an XL. So this one's gonna be gone into the personal collection. We got another Anaheim Mighty Ducks, but this one's a hoodie, kind of like a thinner hoodie. Anaheim Mighty Ducks, big logo on the front, Disney copyright. And that one is on the True Fan tag. And as you can see, this one's also brand new, just the tag fell off over time. And then the last one in the lot, definitely the best one in my opinion. Like I'm pretty sure I can get at least around like 200 bucks just back on this one alone. That is the starter Houston Oilers jacket right here. And again, that one is brand new with tags. That one is a size large. Large, starter patch on one sleeve, NFL patch on the other, starter on the back of the neck. I was actually tempted to keep this one, but I gotta let this one go. For one, I wouldn't want to pull the tags off of it, and two, I gotta get my money back somehow. <laughs> You can't do that when you're keeping everything. And then the best part, as I was paying and she was packing up my stuff for me, she asked me if I wanted more. And I was like, you have more? And she was like, probably. So she's not 100% sure if she has more, but she told me she's gonna look and see if she does. And if she does, she's gonna bring it next week for me. I think it's supposed to rain this weekend. I'm hoping it doesn't, but if it does rain, then I'm hoping she does the same thing as she did this last time and brings it the next week, if she has any more. So crossing my fingers on that one. I'll go ahead and take the boots. Do you have a five? Yep. All right. Uh, no, it's okay. Thank you. Right. Mm-hmm. We do have some games somewhere, but in one of these boxes. All right, cool. I'll be back. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. A few moments later. from those amazing clothes finds we go into some amazing video game finds because at this next booth I bought some red Doc Martin boots as you guys saw um, as I was walking away she told me that she had a box of video games somewhere but she had to find it but I ended up looping back around and then I found all these games before I get into the games and the clothes that I got from them the boots that I got are these right here just some red Doc Martens always a quick flip and I got them for only 15 bucks and they are a size 7 men Doc Martin boots are always one of those things I'm gonna grab when they're cheap but I guess I'll do the little stack of clothes first before I get into the games first item is the Ed Hardy track jacket right here the Germany you got the German flag on the chest that one is a size large even gonna come up and then on the back you got that big graphic with the Ed Hardy embroidered on the back I got this one from them just for the personal it's the primitive trunks hoodie nothing crazy I just wanted this for my personal collection you got trunks from Dragon Ball Super on the back and primitive on the chest I think this one was only like five bucks too and then the clothing item that I kind of took a gamble on because I don't really know supreme stuff like that I am getting it legit checked but it's kind of taking a minute so I'll put the results right here whenever I get them so you guys will know if it's legit or fake this is uh, supreme hoodie right here you got supreme spelled out on the front but it has like pearls around it and i was i was really thinking like why would they make a fake one of these it's not like nothing special i don't think anyway but you got the supreme tag right there made in canada size medium nothing on the back or anything like that it's just a solid gray hoodie to me i think it's legit like it feels like it's decent quality i honestly don't even know what it's worth if it is legit but it was 20 bucks so i was like whatever i'll just grab it if anything i'll figure out something to do with it so now we'll get into the game so the console that i ended up grabbing is the nintendo gamecube i did pay 25 dollars for that one as you can see they were priced but i didn't mind paying that because on the bottom it does have the game boy advance adapter unfortunately no discs that would have been great but even the adapter alone is worth more than 25 bucks so i was like whatever i'll take that ended up grabbing two official oem gamecube controls the first one was 10 bucks it's just a solid black one 
always good to have extras on these and then the second one is another black one but it is the super smash bros edition of it i actually already own this one but i'm probably going to keep end up keeping this one and just throwing it in the personal collection this is one of those ones that you can't have too many of and like i said it was eight bucks here's where it gets good when we get to the games not only are they solid games but they were priced amazing <laughs> but we got mortal kombat 4 unfortunately they are all loose but i don't really care because of the titles we got mortal kombat 4 on the ps1 that one was four bucks Midnight Club Dub Edition for the PS2, three bucks. Soundtrack on this game was always amazing. <laughs> so this one's not really worth nothing, but I kind of just grabbed it because I thought it was cool. The Sonic Adventure Trials for the Dreamcast, that one was three bucks. I think it's only worth like 15 maybe, but that one was for myself anyway. But then we get to the three good games. We got a loose copy of Super Smash Bros. Melee, everybody's favorite Smash Bros. It's probably my least favorite, to be honest. And people always think I'm crazy for saying that, but got that one for four bucks. We got a copy of Sonic Shuffle on the Dreamcast for only a dollar this is one that i've been wanting for a while so this one i'm holding on to and then last but not least for the ps1 we got a copy of marvel vs capcom i wish it was marvel vs capcom 2 even though i do already own that game on the dreamcast but you can't really complain for only two dollars it's funny because when we went back my friend actually grabbed the game off the table that was worth a decent amount i think loose it was like 75 bucks i forgot what it was it was like some weird obscure ps2 game so i completely missed that one i wouldn't even have known so luckily he was the one that got it but yeah definitely happy with those game titles that i got especially for the prices Okay, I'm gonna take this one. Next item I ended up grabbing was the Ted DiBiase figure right here. It's more like a doll, the classic superstars. Usually anytime you find the classic superstar stuff, it does have a little bit of value to it. I did pay 20 bucks for this one, but I think I should be able to get about like 75, if not a little more. It is brand new in box. The box is a little damaged, but I mean, it still has the tape and everything on it. So you can tell it's never been opened. So I didn't think that was a bad deal for 20 bucks. Yeah, it could be found. <laughs> How much are the Call of Duty Legos? 25. 25? All right, thank you. Yeah. How much are these? 135. 135? All right, thank you. You did just buy a house. You could yeah. use this in your bathroom. I'm gonna get it for my bathroom. Okay. Okay. Sounds good, man. I'll see you. I'll see you later. How much is the snow globe? Okay. How much is the snow globe? Eighty. 80? Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. How much they are? Okay. I guess let me go inside and talk. <laughs> Anything else over here? Yeah. How much is the shirt? Oh, that was 30 bucks. 30? 30? Yeah, it's just because it's old. Okay. Yeah. Then what about... Those are like 15. There's everything like on the rack over there is like 5. Okay. That's... Oh. Whichever hat, boy, $5. All right. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty, thirty five, forty, forty five. Chicago enforcers. Oh, it's an XFL shirt. Yeah, I didn't one. even. <laughs> you didn't know? No. Just alone on this one. You'll make your money back, bud. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, it's because, you know, I know a lot of people are trying to resell, which is good. You know what I mean? But as long as I get my, what I put into it, I'm yeah. good with that. You know? Uh-huh. This next little lot of items I grabbed, I got seven hats for five bucks a piece. I got two shirts for $5 a piece, two items that were $15 a piece, and one item that was $30. So I'll start off with the hats. They're not like the greatest hats, but for five bucks a piece, I figured they were worth grabbing. We got the Logo Athletic Panthers hat right there. The Logo Athletic Pro Line, that was the first one. The Sports Specialties Boston Celtics hat right there. 
another velcro back whenever i get this style of sports specialties hat they take a while to sell but they do eventually sell we got the north carolina bulldogs that one is actually a fitted by drew pearson and then i got four leather hats right here which these leather hats take forever to sell if they even do sell but i was like man for five bucks why not and two of them are brand new with tags the other ones i'm assuming just like the shirts that i got earlier that they did have tags on but they were probably just pulled off we got the cleveland browns hat right there the new york jets right there all these are by reebok and then the two with the tags we got the buffalo bills and the second one is the indianapolis colts even though they're not like the greatest hats five bucks a piece i was happy with that now for the items that i paid five dollars a piece for it was actually three things it was three t-shirts the first one is the florida seminoles tee right here florida state that one is a size xl on the all style tag pretty simple just florida state on the chest then we got this one i don't even know who this is bill pickett but i figured for five bucks why not grab it it is on the old fruit loom tag dated 1994 and then the third one is the xfl t and that one is the chicago enforcers again on the all style tag size large and that one's actually dated 2003 and then the two 15 items we'll start with this one right here size xl we got the billy holiday t that one's dated 1990 on the old fruit of the loom tag like I said, size XL. And then on the back, you got the birthplace of jazz, New Orleans. And then the second item I got for $15 was another suit. This is the Dallas Cowboys. I don't even know what brand this is. It, like I can't find a brand name on it at all, but it's like half pinstripe, half blue, Dallas Cowboys on the chest. It's got the hoodie. And then on the back, you have the Dallas Cowboys spelled out with the star in the middle. It does have some wear to it. It's a size XL. The tag has a size on it, but it doesn't have a brand on it. And then it also came with the pants. You just have Dallas Cowboys spelled out on one of the legs. And then the last item I got from them for $30, I did pay up on this one, but he kind of knew what he had. He told us at the end, and that is the champion Dallas Mavericks shooting shirt right here. And that one is a size large with the old logo right there in the middle there is the jock tag official nba champion and then on the back you got maverick spelled out on the back of the neck little nba logo on one sleeve and then the little champion on the other and like i said this one i did have to pay up i paid 30 bucks for it but i think i should be able to get at least like 80 to 100 on this one i mean if you don't want it i'll take it can i see the digimon <laughs> i want to look at it <laughs> i don't collect digimon so i'm not gonna lie it is pretty cool Sí, este no quiero que se me vaya uno y luego me sobra For 10 bucks, I did end up grabbing this little Pikachu plush right here. It's an older one, as you guys can tell by the way he looks. But it's actually an official Tommy. So this one I'll probably just end up holding on to. I can like store stuff in his butt for some reason. Even though I don't have my old Pokemon plushes on display anymore like I used to, I still do collect them. I'll just throw this one with those. I have eight dollars. Well, you can't awesome. afford it. No <laughs> Do you want it? Nah. No, okay. You want it? Uh, yeah, you got a tan. What's wrong with him? He's missing what his button. Is. But I mean, that's replaceable. Yeah. 1989, man. That's yeah. Just, it's... Ready, my friend? Are you gonna take it or take it? No, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take these two. <laughs> and then I grab two. Two hockey jerseys for five bucks a piece. They're both. Carolina Hurricanes. I don't know who these players are because I'm not a hockey fan, but the first one is number 53, Skinner. Like I said, I have no idea who that is. Only Skinner I know is Ben Skinner from RDC World. Then you got the logo on the front on that one, and that's a size medium. They're both women's jerseys, so it probably hurts it, but I mean, for five bucks, I'm not really complaining. That one's a size medium. And then the second one is the Stall, number 12. That one, you got the captain patch on the front, and that one is a women's size small on the Reebok. So for five bucks a piece, even if I get like $25 to 30 bucks on these, I'm happy with that. Not bad, I'm putting it together. Oh, uh, you're fine, I'm broke anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you said that since the first hour when I got here. Yeah, well, that's when I spent all my money. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's what's so funny. Yeah. You got a bunch of clothes or a yeah. game Both. What? I got a bunch of clothes. Um, from some this lady I don't know if you saw I got a bunch of shirts like two weeks ago out here oh, was, I think so. yeah, yeah a bunch yeah. of like new attack stuff she had more I got 20 more from her but it was a bunch of like sweaters and stuff and how much for my little stack the two shoes and the jacket 120 120 okay yeah I'll do that well guys as much as i want to stay and keep looking i think it's uh, about time i head out i forgot that i parked on the other side though so i've got to make the walk over there and then once i get home we'll do the pickup part 
And then to end the video off, I got two pairs of shoes and a jacket. I paid a total of $120 for the three, but I feel like I should be able to sell like one of the items and get that money back and then the other two will be the profit. So we'll start off with the two shoes. We got a pair of the denim Jordan 3s right here, like the denim elephant print. These are a size seven. I wish they were adult size, but I figured since this shoe was worth a little bit in adult sizes, I figured even in a used size, they gotta be worth something. I went ahead and grabbed those even though they are smaller. And then size nine and a half, we got a pair of the cool gray Jordan 11 Lowe's. I actually already legit checked these, they're good. I actually have the laces off because I'm cleaning them right now, but they're actually still in pretty decent shape. There is the other one, so not too bad on those. The jacket that I ended up grabbing, was the Dallas Cowboys Apex One right here. You got the star patch on the back and then on the front, you got the little star patch with the Apex logo. And that one is a size large. And the best thing about this one is it still has the hood. These are always missing the hood. So I'm glad that it actually still has the hood attached to it. And that definitely will help with selling it because I don't need it. I stopped keeping jackets because like there's only a couple days of the years that we really need them here. So there was no point in me having like a big jacket collection. So now I only have like a couple of them. So I don't need this one. So those are my flea market finds for this weekend, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Definitely a very solid weekend. If you guys did enjoy the video, hit that like button, drop a comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week with another one.